another thing you can do with a Windows 8, and this is a lesson and we'll teach you how to do all this stuff. I'm kind of jumping ahead. But here's Soft Tutor. It's playing on the desktop. I've set it to stay on top. And one of the things you can do if the resolution of your monitor is large enough, and I'm going to right mouse button click, go to the resolution. If it's 1366 by 768 or higher, you can split the screen into thirds with Windows 8. And we'll teach you how to do this. I'm kind of jumping the gun. So in order to do that, we need to run another application. So in this case, Dana is going to teach you how to do the calendar. And uh, I'm going to go over here to the start thing. And I'm going to run a calendar as an application. I'm going to cancel that. I don't want to log in. So now if I take this, I can drag the desktop out. And notice if I drag it out just a little bit, it'll run the desktop app on a third of the screen. Or I can slide it like this, and it'll run the calendar app on a third of the screen. So if I wanted to kind of follow along with Dana at the same time, I can't get all the features when it's running at a third of the screen, but you can get some of them. Next is we calendar. can play the video. So I have my calendar box as the first. Your calendar box is probably different. Main thing is it has this little calendar icon, says the date, and says calendar on it, and it's purple. You're going to click the calendar button, and it's going to open your calendar for you. So when you start, I don't know why this is like this. It's going to be showing the month. I have my, stupidly, have my um, Facebook connected to my calendar, so it's telling me when everyone I'm friends with birthdays are. Um, so say I want to know when someone's birthday is, I know when it is. Um, but... Say this is kind of overwhelming me a little bit. I'm going to do a right click, go down here, click on the day, and it just tells me today. So today there are no birthdays. But say today I have an appointment at 10 o'clock. I'm going to click time. And this has details, October, Friday the 19th, 2012. And it's going to start at 10 p.m. It's going to go for 30 minutes. So it looks a little bit different, but you can see that you can kind of set up your calendar in this split screen. Another thing you can do is you can play Soft Tutor, and, this is and we can Skype slide the screen back there. Meeting. Now Soft Tutor is still playing, so but it's really too small to see. And now we can see the um, application in a little bit greater detail. With John. I'm going to discard the changes here. From accounting. So we can see in a little bit greater detail. We can and do the day. So I see it the way that she it. saw it. I the week. John from accounting. Or the a, month. Uh, Skype. So it's a little limiting when it's a smaller screen. You can't see the day and the week. You can only see the month. And then if you did want to create an appointment, it looks a little bit different than it does when it's running full screen. So again, you can decide whether you want to learn that way or not. It's a little frustrating, I think. Uh, but you can't run Soft Tutor uh, the same time that you're running an app, a Windows app and a, uh, a desktop app. Don't really run it at the same time unless you do it uh, with this uh, third split screen. So. Okay, anyways, it's just another alternative. We'll teach you how to do split screens. We'll teach you how to toggle through them. Uh, awful lot of stuff that's covered in this Soft Tutor product.